Roof Max of Hickory, affordable roof rejuvenation. Visit MakeMyRoofLast.com. Time for our look at local sports on WHKY News. I'm Jason Savage, a busy weekend. We dive right in with high school football action from this weekend in the Western Highlands 1A 2A conference. Drawn was a 37 0 winner over Avery County. That game was on Saturday. Everything else Friday night. Catawba Valley Athletic 2A conference. Bunker Hill edging out Bandies in a wild one 54 53. East Burke defeats West Caldwell 28 7. Maiden winning over Newton Conover 48 14. In the Western Foothills Athletic 3A Conference Friday night, Hickory over Statesville 35 to 20. St. Stevens defeats Fred T. Ford 42 to 14. In the Northwestern 3A 4A Conference, Alexander Central over High Brighton 35 21. South Caldwell comes from behind to defeat Ash County 40 to 34. Freedom falls at Watauga 42 to 6. Caldwell Community College and Technical Institute men's basketball team opened up their season with an 84-57 win over Camp Community College on Saturday at home. Caldwell sophomore A.J. Godley led all scorers with a career-high 31 points. Cobras are 1-0 on the season. They'll host Central Carolina Community College tomorrow. Lenorine Volleyball swept Catawba at home Friday night 3-0. Bears 21-3 overall, 12-2 in the South Atlanta Conference. They're hosting Anderson on Wednesday. Lenorine women's soccer scored both of their goals in the second half as they would defeat Tusculum 2-1 Saturday on the road. The win improves the Bears to 10-1-4 overall, 8-0-2 in the South Atlantic Conference, setting up a huge showdown Wednesday with 21st-ranked Catawba with a regular season South Atlantic Conference title on the line that will be at LR. The Lenoran men's soccer team got back to their winning ways, defeating Tusculum 3-1 on the road. On Saturday, Bears are 6-7 overall, 5-5 in the South Atlantic Conference. They too will host Catawba Wednesday evening in their last regular season game. And Lenoran football fell at home to Wingate 14-10 Saturday. The Bears offense struggled. Defense held the Bulldogs to over half of their points per game. Going in, they averaged over 30 points per game. But the loss puts LR's playoff hopes now on a bit of a life support. Fortunately, the Bears play at Catawba on Saturday. LR 7-2 overall, 5-2 in the South Atlantic Conference. Appalachian State News Now. App State Volleyball defeated Georgia State 3-1 on the road Friday and 3-2 on the road Saturday. As the Mountaineers have now won five of their last six, and are 14 and 7 overall, 8 and 2 in Sunbelt Conference play. They'll be back in Boone hosting Marshall for their final pair of home matches Friday and Saturday. Appalachian State women's soccer graduate student Izzy Wood, a Hickory High grad, and freshman Ellie Garrison were named all Sunbelt Conference postseason honorees this past weekend. Wood named first team all Sunbelt forward. Garrison earned second team recognition as a midfielder. It marks the first time that Appalachian State women's soccer has had a player earn first team honors since 2018 and the first time since 2015 that the program has had multiple players earn postseason all-conference recognition. Appalachian State football down to Old Dominion 28 to 20 at home on Saturday. The win improving the Mountaineers to four and four overall. Two and three in the Sunbelt Conference. Up next for the Mountaineers, a Thursday night showdown with Coastal Carolina on the road. That will be shown on ESPN at 8 p.m. Thursday night. As always, much more can be found on our website, whky.com. WHKY is a family-owned company that's been in this community for generations. WHKY is connected to our local community, and our listeners are too. Show your part of the WHKY family with the new WHKY merch. Visit WHKY.com and click on the Radio Retail Store tab. You can buy a WHKY mug, hat, and if you're a fan of local news, a Crime Report t-shirt. Remember, the Crime Report shirt is machine washable, so you can keep it clean and keep it legal. Buy WHKY merch today at WHKY.com.